encouraging the generation of women engineers right behind us. That is the goal of International Women in Engineering Day, which happens to be today. Dr. J. Shri Sait is a corporate scientist and chief science advocate at 3M. Welcome. Thank you for having me. Of course, happy to have you here. So what are some of the challenges that women face in STEM from childhood to adulthood? Yeah, women in STEM can face many challenges and a big reason is that they're simply underrepresented in these fields. There's just not enough of us. And the second factor that can pose challenges is that of pervasive stereotypes. There are stereotypes about girls and women, uh, stereotypes with the STEM fields themselves, and stereotypes about what scientists and engineers should look like, what they do, and how they behave. So and when, for some of these very reasons, I never thought of myself as the science and engineering type when I was growing up, but I've done quite all right. I think so, absolutely. So, I mean, to that, to that point, what advice then do you give to young girls who are interested in STEM, but do feel discouraged from pursuing science and engineering? Yeah, so I would say to all young girls what I also tell my daughter, you want to change the world, you want to solve real problems that matter, STEM is for you. We need more people in STEM fields with uh, community-oriented goals and pro-social ideas than ever before. And the last two plus years have uh, really shown us that. And to all the young women who wonder if they should you know, pursue STEM or leave STEM uh, because humanities may just feel more intuitive or more inviting, I always tell them that the real shtick is STEM. It's science, humanities, technology, engineering, and math. So bring that much needed mindset because it is critical to being successful. Don't be discouraged. Science needs you. And more importantly, science needs you to be you. Do you remember any valuable advice that you received from any mentors or peers or allies along the way? Uh, yeah, I've been very fortunate to be surrounded by many who can provide sound advice and uh, be a good sounding board. So it's very important to develop meaningful relationships and deep friendships because it does come in handy when you are at a crossroads of sorts and worry about making the wrong decision. And a valuable piece of advice that has really stuck with me is when I was agonizing over a decision and a former boss said, Jay Shri, make the best decision for you for now. And that advice from her was just so liberating. That addition of the phrase for now is actually powerful. And I think about that because we can try to project the future and get all anxious, but there is no telling how things will play out. So make the best decision with what you know and then dive in with confidence and an open mind. Can you tell us a little bit more about your own experience participating in the not the science type docuseries before we go? Yes, uh, 3M DocuSeries is not the science type. It highlights the journey of four women scientists who have confronted challenges and challenged stereotypes. And I'm honored to be one of the women engineer featured in it. And I will say that the experience of having my story be told reinforced for me that challenges can be reframed and they can actually give deep motivation to grow despite the detractors. And we, with this docuseries, want to inform and influence and hopefully inspire the next generation because uh, we do some research on the global public perception of yeah. science called 3M State of Science Index. Yeah. And the results show that we need to do more to encourage women and girls. So check and out we, the docuseries. And we can go to the website, 3M.com slash science index. Dr. Sate, thank you so much for being with us. We really appreciate it. And we'll be right back with more Midday Maryland right after this.